Hello and welcome to the Brick Creek. Today again with a set of the company Rio Bricks, model number 66039. The Book of the Kings. Yes, a fantasy bookcase. Yes, there are some more of these kind of sets with Star Wars, with an, uh, an undersea boat, uh, a garage and I believe four or five different of these book <laughs> case sets. I don't know how to call them. And this time, yeah, obviously it is Lord of the Rings. 3,307 pieces. Here it says a difficulty level of five of seven. And it's a 14 plus, yes. The back of the set. So you see how it looks when it's covered to the left on and on the right with real books. So it, yeah, it looks nice, it looks nice. Okay, now you see some pictures of the assembly and some pictures of the final set with LED lights, without LED lights. And then I tell you how it, the quality of the instructions, the stones, the whole set is. We we'll see us in a few seconds. Taking the hobbits to Isengard. So after 10 to 11 hours, we have our <laughs> yeah. If you only look at this here, you think, what is this? What should this be? This is horrible. From that side, from that side, and from that side. Okay, 3,300 pieces, 10 building step, 300. A little bit over 300 pieces for each building step, 10 to 11 hours. One tip, if you don't know, I haven't known a long time, uh, you have 10 bags, 1 to 10. Inside, building step 1 are eight, 7 to 8 bags. For, um, you can only open 1, 1. If you, they, all the pieces are gone, 1, 2, 1, 3. Not with Mole King. Mole King you have to open all the bags in building step 1. With Rio Bricks you can really 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3 and so on. So you have only 50, 60 parts, 30 parts for each small building step. So that's totally great. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this type of packaging from Rio Bricks. Okay. Instructions. This time 350 pages for 3,300 pieces. So that's 
10 pieces, a little bit less, 8 point something pieces uh, for each side. Um, the instructions are great, no problem. But 100 pages less would be enough. Okay, I can understand real bricks want to ensure that everybody gets this thing here done, even beginners. But I believe always in do it not too easy for the people. So a hundred pages less would be enough. That's the only thing I can the only thing bad thing I can say about the instructions. It's too much. It's too much. But they are great. You always see perfectly how to manage everything. The old building steps are not desaturated or great, but the new parts are redlined and there are always arrows and everything. So absolutely no problem. You get this small sheet of stickers. I haven't applied them because I will sell the set and the new owner can use the stickers. But I would say um, if I would kept this set I would use the stickers because they are really looking cool. You've seen the pictures of the the official pictures of the set with the stickers applied and it looks really good. It looks really good. Okay, measurements. So we have exactly 29. We have in height 29.8 and we have in width with the joints exactly 15. Okay, so now we came to the point to show you the real set. And here it is. So, this scene, the Argonauts, 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 I don't know. Um, this was the scene. I, I was sitting in the movie and I'm not a fantasy guy and I was really skeptical about the movies. I was only going to the theater because it was Peter Jackson and before Lord of the Rings I was already a big, big Peter Jackson film. I love Brain Dead or what is called in America Dead Alive, I believe. Um, <laughs> I love Meet the Feebles. I love most of the Peter Jackson's film. I think he's an incredible director. And then I heard he's making the movies and yeah. I was living uh, with a few guys together in a big, big apartment and one of them was a big, big Lord of the Rings fan and he uh, got me to the, what was it, midnight premiere with a lot of fans and cosplay and so on. And I was still skeptical till the first scene when the small boat uh, with the Fellowship of the Ring comes to the Argonauts. Argonauts, Argonauts, I don't know. And then I was blown away. We were in a really good cinema here in Mannheim, not in Ludwigshafen, with a really good picture and I was blown away. And this was the scene that made me fall in love with the Lord of the Rings movies. Not with the books, I'm still not a fantasy book reader, but now I can watch fantasy through these movies. Before I was the only fantasy film I liked before Lord of the Rings was Willow. <laughs> That's a long time. It's a long time between Willow and Lord of the Rings. You have to admit there are not many good fantasy movies. Oh, Legend from Ridley Scott and with Tom Hanks. That was not a bad movie too. Okay, now well, let's go through before I got too far into the Lord of the Rings. Uh, but one of these is um, easy. What is it called? Isildur? Isildur. The, one of the main uh, characters of the, uh, the new TV series from Amazon. Uh, what are they called? Is it the Ring of Power? No, I don't know the, the English name of, this, of the series, sorry. Uh, the German name is Ringe der Macht, Rings of Power. And um, I have to admit the first season was horrible. The story was horrible, most of the actors were horrible, a lot of the effects were horrible, especially all the hair looks horrible. I don't. A, a friend told me, look at the hair 
and I, I looked at the hairs of most of the actors and really it, it's horrible. Have a, have a closer look to the hair of the people in, in, uh, in the TV series. It's horrible. Okay, now back to this. Quality of the bricks, great. Rio bricks, very, very good. Clutch power is sometimes nearly too high, so no problems with the clutch power. We have no problems with the color consistency. All the gray parts are the same gray, so no problem. Really, really good quality. Really good quality. A lot of cool parts. I can believe or imagine you can use the set to build for your city a small mountain or something and you can use all the blue bricks for underneath the underneath construction and then you use all the gray parts to hide the blue on your mountain. So I, I believe this can be used for other things too, no problem. But normally if you buy this it's a display set you like a lot of the rings and up, up into the shelf. Okay, so the Argonauts. The assembly, you build the T here and then really step by step it's growing up. Here a little bit, here a little bit, here a little bit, and there, there, there. Really step by step it's going up. You've seen the pictures. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not, you, we don't have any fancy building techniques, perhaps the two statues itself. Uh, but the rest here, it's you can watch TV and, and assemble this. It's no problem. No problem. Um, this sounds a little bit disappointed, but I was not disappointed. It makes fun to build, but it's not gorgeous or, or amazing or something like that. It's, it's, it's okay. It's an entertaining build. What I don't like are these form pieces for the clouds. I don't like them. They are looking childish? I don't know. And they remember me of, I believe, when I see them I always be on Mario Kart and I see the guy with the, that keeps me out when I fall down with my kart. I don't know the, the name of the guy. But when I see these uh, form pieces I always into Mario Kart. Okay, but the quality is really great. The assembly is okay. They say five difficulty out of seven yeah, it's not for small beginners, but you don't have to be an expert to, to assemble this. So, this is a great, gorgeous looking set. But I will tell you three things I'm not so happy with. So, let's go through. First is here in the bag. Nice is that we can open here the bag, so we have easy access to the battery box. Batteries are included this time, or, or at least if you buy it from Eobricks directly or through the link in the descriptions, you will have batteries in the battery box. If you buy this from another Chinese seller, perhaps you have to buy batteries. Okay, but the thing is, we have one light strip here, we have one light strip on that side and a smaller light strip here. Three light strips. And we have only three connection here, and one connection goes to the battery box. So I can not apply all three light strips. Rio bricks. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't understand how something like this can happen. I don't know. I don't know Rio bricks. But the good news is all this here has the same size from Lesti, from Funhole, from Mole King. 99% of these lightning kits have the same size. So from AliExpress or even Amazon, you will get here four or five uh, board to connect four or five LEDs. So you can apply all. You see the pictures of when it's lit. And there are only two active, because one goes to the battery box. So that's a really a bummer. Not a big one, because this board here, this connector board, cost one dollar or perhaps only 50 cents or something like that. And um, so not really an issue, but I believe the quality control has slept on this day. I don't know. I don't know. We have three. No, okay. Um, the other thing is inside the head 
of this king here, one is Isildur, the other is, I don't know, um, this head here, no problem. This head here is connected only with one stud to the rest of the statue. And um, so it can fall apart. If you shake this here, perhaps the head goes downwards. I carried this into my backyard to make photos and carried it back and the head is still sitting. But I want to tell you, it can fall down because it happens to me two times. So I know. <laughs> it is a little bit fragile because it's only on one stud. Yeah? There are some other parts that are only on one stud. Uh, but they don't have the weight of this head. So, And the third thing I'm not completely happy about, but there is an easy solution. Uh, I show you a picture here of the upper part and you see that it's not totally even. And that's how you build it. The solution is easy. You build this as a whole part and then connect at the end as top layer. And the tiles here are the last part you apply to the three parts here. And when you have applied everything, everything is done, last building step is done, only the assembly here on the rest of the set, then put it onto the tiles on, on the table, remove these blades here, these really uh, light blue, light blue, not the normal blue, the very light blue here. Remove the blades. These are these blades with a mesh. Remove them, then you can put your thumbs in between and put the, the, the blades underneath to the tiles and then you can apply the mesh blades again, put it on here and then you have a straight surface. If you do it the way I do, did it, apply the tiles at the end, the blades underneath will bend a little bit and so it's not totally even. Yeah? Here it's totally even at the back, this small part here, because I checked the technique there and it's working at the end, but I didn't do for the whole set, so you see that you have to work here very carefully and have to remove the mesh blades and with them you start. You can remove them in the end, make a good connection from the blades and the tiles, we bring them back on, set the top layer on top, and then you have a gorgeous set. Okay. Oh, perhaps you want to know. Oh, I've forgotten this to measure for the German folks. The whole width of the set could be very interesting. Around 60 centimeters. Okay, so we are done. So please write me in the comments. We don't have much, much comments at the moment. And through no comments, we don't get much views at the moment. It's horrible. I don't know. Um, at the moment, the views are horrible sometimes. So please write me comments or give us a thumbs up all the <laughs> Always welcome, uh, but write me in the comments. Do you like the Lord of the Rings? What do you think about the Hobbit? Because I love Lord of the Rings. Mostly it's handmade. You don't see the digital effects so good. And there's so much work into these movies. All the weapons, all the armory, everything. All the shields. It, it, it's enormous. The amount of work for these three movies is beyond everything that has made before and is the standard till cinema collapses. Because nobody will make again such complex movies with such many actors, such many swords. It's unbelievable. Have you seen the special editions? There are, I believe, over 20 hours of making of and it's incredible. And then you're looking at The Hobbit and The Hobbit looks really like crap, the CGI is not good, everything looks unreal, they are much too long. Uh, the book has 300 pages or something like that, The Hobbit, 300 pages. It's, it's a child's book and they're making 12 hours movie out of it. I don't know, I don't know. 
Um, so write me in the comments. Do you like Lord of the Rings? Do you don't like The Hobbit like I do? And what do you think of this kind of sets? There are Star Wars sets, the trench one, and, and I believe four or five different sets in this bookcase style. In the beginning I was skeptical and was thinking, what the? Why? But after I assembled this here, and uh, I checked it out with some books on the left on the right in the shelf, and when it's litten, it looks a kind of cool, I have to admit. I have, I have to admit I like it now. <laughs> Before the assembly I was thinking, nobody needs that. After the assembly I'm thinking, nobody needs that, but it's looking gorgeous when it's litten and books on the side. Okay, thank you for watching. Next two sets are from Rio Bricks, the Master Sword of Zelda. I have already assembled it. And the next is from Mold King, the 19015, the pneumatic truck. That's a monster. Building step one, eight motors. <laughs> one building step, eight motors and two pneumatic pumps. And in the whole set are 14. 14 pneumatic cylinders. <laughs> I'm blown away from this. Okay, you can really be uh, thrilled to see this and uh, we are all under suspense if it's working or not. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good time. I'm Frank. Bye-bye.